Welcome everybody to this Python tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use the Turtle Graphics Library, the Random Library, and the Time Library to draw some random art using our Turtle. So the first thing I need to do is import those libraries. So I'm going to say import Turtle, import Time, and import Random. I'll then need to create a pen to draw with, so I'll say pen is equal to capital P-E-N, parentheses, parentheses. So this is our object, and we're assigning this object to our variable pen. Now, we want to make sure our canvas is clean before we start drawing on it, so we'll say pen.clear. And we'll make sure our pen is up, so we'll say pen.up. So let's create a simple circle. So create a small circle. And we'll say pen dot go to and we'll just pick a random X and Y location on our canvas. And we'll set a radius variable. Set it equal to 100. And we'll select a pen color and we'll make it blue. And then we want to also select a width for our pen. So we'll say pen.width and we'll select 3. We'll then place our pen down on the canvas and we'll draw a circle. So we'll call the circle method and we'll pass in our variable radius as a parameter. And this will draw a circle of a radius of 100. And then we'll pick our pen up. So let's test this piece of code. And I'll have to save it first. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop for now. And I'm going to name it random turtle art and add my name. And then don't forget to add the .py so it knows it's a Python file. And it says pen is not defined. Import. Let's try if we do from turtle import asterisk and see if it will give us our pen. There we go. And so we get a circle with a radius of 100 that's not filled. So now let's start adding some random behavior to our circle. So the first item that we can make random is the radius of our circle. So let's do that in the next circle that we create. So we'll say creates a circle with a random radius. And we will go to another location on our screen. So we'll say go to and then let's say negative 150. And then now for our radius, we want to actually call a random number. So we will call the random library by saying random dot rand int, which means random integer. Now I have to set the lower bound and the higher bound of this range that it can use for a random number. So since our radius was 100 before, we will set the lower radius of our circle 3 so we can see it and we'll set the upper radius of our circle to 150. And now we need to set this value equal to our radius variable so we'll add radius in the front and use the equal sign to assign our random number to the radius variable. We can go ahead and pick another color for this circle so it's easy to see and we'll go ahead and pick another width 
This time let's do six. We'll put our pen down and we'll draw our circle using our circle method and we'll pass in radius. And then we'll pick our pen up so we're ready to draw again. So let's run this section of code and see what we get. So now it's going to draw this single circle with a radius of 100 and then it's going to draw a green circle with a thicker outline of a random radius. And if we close this off and run it again, we will get a circle of a different size. So there's our blue circle again with a radius of 100 in our thicker circle. It's a little bit smaller, but not by much. So if you want to adjust the radius to be smaller, you could make the range smaller. And we could be between 3 and 30. And then we can run it again. And our circle will definitely be smaller. and there's a tiny circle with an outline. Now our circles are being drawn pretty slowly so what we want to do up here is when we create the pen we want to say pen dot speed and we'll put in fastest as our parameter so that every time we test our code it draws it very quickly and there are other settings like fast, normal, slow, and slowest that you could use. So let's go ahead and run it once more and watch how fast it draws this time and we get a larger green circle. So the next thing that we could make random would be the width of the pen. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy this code and then ch change it down here. So this is going to create a circle with a random radius and a random width to the pen for the pen. And now for this width, we'll create a variable called w. Oops. So we'll say Uh, w is equal to random dot rand int and we'll set the width of the pen between 1 and 10. And now when we call the width of our pen instead of having it hard coded as S6 we'll pass in the W so each time we draw this circle it will be a different width. So let's go ahead and run this part of our program and of course we drew it in the same place. So that leads us into our next um, random item which would be the X and Y position of our circles. So for each of these instead of hard coding this as 100 and 120 we want to pass in a random value for the X and a random value for the Y. So we'll say X is equal to randint and since our canvas is zero zero is in the middle we're gonna go we can either go 400 to the left or 400 to the right 400 up or 400 down we will have the range between well let's say 20 and 380 we'll leave a little space at the edge of our turtle world and Y will do the same thing and I forgot to add random so we need to say random dot randint 20 and 380 also. And we need to add random here. And we're going to do need to do this for every circle that we draw. So here we're going to pass in the X and here we're going to pass in the Y as a parameter. And now these three lines we can replace in each of our circles.
So I'm going to copy these three lines and replace it here. And then also replace it down here. And we'll run this to see what code we get. Okay, so we had two circles instead of three, so one must be on top of it or hiding somewhere. And notice that they're all in the upper right hand corner. So why is that the case? The reason is, is that we're only dealing with the upper right hand quadrant here. And we need to um, deal with one of the four quadrants. So what happens here is this value could be positive or negative. So let's go ahead and just, we can hard code it for right now and say that the x can range anywhere from, instead of 20 to 380, we want it to range from negative 380 to positive 380, and the y we also want to range from negative 380 to positive 380. And I'm going to go ahead and copy those to my other circles. And run our program again. And instead of, let's see, we have a blue circle, a green circle, and we'll make a brown circle. And our green circle seems to have disappeared somewhere or our blue circle. Now we have blue, green, interesting. Let's see, we have blue and brown. So our green circle did not register for some reason. We are calling the random number again. We're saying to go to that position. We're calling a random radius. We're setting the color to green. Setting the pen width to six. It may just have ended up on the same spot. Alright, so the next thing that we can do and make random is the color. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this code and paste it down below. So let's check our comments. This creates a small circle in a random position. This creates a circle with a random radius and in a random position. And this one creates a circle with a random radius, a random position, and a random width for the pen. And our fourth one creates a random radius, a random position, a random width for the pen, and a random color. So we'll say random color. So what we need to do to change this random color is to create three values for red, green, and blue. So we're going to say r is equal to random.randint. And we're going to set the values between um, 0 0.01 and 0 0.99. And then we'll create a variable for the green. So we'll say green is equal to random dot randint 0 0.01, 0 0.99. And we need to do this for blue. And then we need to pass these into our color for red, green, and blue.